What's up guys, my name is Daniel and here are five tips that helped me get my first class fully booked on OutSchool. Now, obligatory disclaimer that what worked for me might not work for you. What's great about OutSchool is that you can really choose your own adventure and everyone's experience will be different. Now, if you're thinking about applying for OutSchool, go for it. It's fun, it's flexible, and you can honestly make a lot of money teaching what you love. And whether you use my referral link or not, if you email me, I'm more than happy to help you through the application process, help you design classes, and we can schedule Zoom calls if you have any questions at all. Now, OutSchool is super straightforward, but it's nice to have a helping hand. So before we jump into the five tips, here are the details of my first class. The title was, Be an NFL Coach. Let's draft a football team on Madden 20. The class was 60 minutes long. It was for students ages 9 to 14, up to 9 kids could book. I offered the class on a Sunday morning and I charged $15 per student. The class was fully booked and after OutSchool took their 30% fee, I made $94 per hour. All right, now let's get into my five tips that helped me fully book my first class on OutSchool. Tip number one, create a unique class. Now my first class was football themed where students compared and contrasted statistics, discussed their favorite players, and actually drafted a team together in the video game Madden 20. I shared my Zoom screen during our NFL draft and students voted in the chat box for different players. Now don't get me wrong, I don't think this was some genius idea that was super innovational, but what it was was unique. Now there were plenty of football themed classes on OutSchool already, like the history of football, or how to write about football, but I noticed that none of them involved football video games. So just that slight twist was enough to help my class stand out. And again, you don't need to be super innovational. Just take something that students are interested in and put your twist on it. Tip number two, offer your first class as a one-time class. When you start out on OutSchool, you obviously won't have any reviews from parents and parents will see that you are a new teacher on the platform. So put yourself in their shoes. Would you sign up for a class with a teacher for seven or eight weeks if you don't know much about them? Once you teach your first class and you rack up some five-star reviews next to your name, parents will be more likely to subscribe to your classroom on a more long-term basis. Tip number three, use keywords in your title. Every week, OutSchool sends out an email telling teachers what parents are searching for on OutSchool. When I first started, Football was something that was being searched often, but yielding few results. So I made sure that the title of my class had the words football, Madden, and NFL. Tip number four, don't open up too many sections of class. Now this completely contradicts the advice I give to teachers on other platforms like VIP Kid. On those sites, it benefits you to open up as many slots as possible. Your pay is directly proportionate to how many classes you teach. OutSchool is different. On OutSchool, since you are in control of your pay, it's better to have a more densely populated classroom than to have the same amount of students spread out over many different classes. Also, when a certain percentage of your slots in a class book, OutSchool displays a message in red letters indicating that the class is nearly full. Many OutSchool parents are looking for that small group interactive social environment where their student is meeting other learners. If they see that your class is already getting some enrollments, they might be more likely to sign up themselves. Now, I'm not saying to only offer one slot of a class. You can give parents options, maybe a few times a week, an afternoon option and a morning option, but don't just open up 20 slots in a week and think that this will help you. Now, my biggest tip is to have a great thumbnail. Now you can have a great class description, a great lesson plan, and maybe you're an awesome teacher, but you still have to catch people's eye enough that they'll click on your class and check it out. So just like your class should be unique, your thumbnail should also be unique. Now the twist that I put on my thumbnails is that I use my face in every thumbnail. Now this is in no way something that you have to do, but I definitely think it helps me stand out in a sea of clip art and royalty free images. Normally to see the teacher of the class, parents would have to click the class and scroll down to the bottom. So in a way, I'm just saving them a click. If you don't wanna use your face, try to have something bright or something that sparks curiosity. Keep in mind that a lot of times, kids are the ones searching for their own classes. They'll be less likely to click on a boring, grainy image as opposed to an interesting one. 
Now, I am in no way advocating for some kind of clickbait with, with some crazy facial reaction, but if you have an awesome class, you should have an awesome thumbnail to really grab people's attention. All right, guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you're thinking about applying to OutSchool, you can use my link below. And again, whether you use it or not, I'm more than happy to help you through the process. Bye, guys.